Dam in the multi coloured shorts and uh, yeah, green hair. confusion about what's going on yeah the timeout there was an elbow thrown that was the first shot he threw it looked like it was an elbow now just explain to us what the problem with an elbow is in kickboxing yeah those are illegal no elbows <laughs> throws or grappling in, 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 in a flyweight kickboxing match Let's take a look at it i don't know if he was trying to throw it as he was maybe throwing his hand you could see him fake and then yeah, that's very clearly an elbow. Yeah. That is uh, pretty clear. Switching from Muay Thai to kickboxing. You know, it's tough, Steve. Like, he's done, you know, he's 30 match veteran as far as Muay Thai is concerned. Multi time world champion. Looks like he's being issued a yellow card. That seems perfectly legitimate, doesn't it? Very, very early on in this contest. A very clear. Flagrant breach of the rules. Petdam will take whatever time he needs up to five minutes to recover from that. Yeah. Looks like he is ready. Spinning back kick to the rib cage. Every hand he has, the Algerian, that long neck of his sticks it out, but low, high guard. They are putting everything into these kicks. Left hand was heavy from Petdam, and Mahmoudi needs to take a step backwards. Back onto the breach, though. Mahmoudi hasn't thrown out any spin attacks yet. He's been very conservative in this first round here, just throwing big, heavy straight shots. There it is. World Championship contest, five three-minute rounds, and we're into the final 20 seconds of the first. See how, pa how patient Pet Dan is. Very slow, methodical steps back before he fires off something from his left side. Right hand from Mahmoudi was crisp, and it shook the face of his opponent. Final moments of this opening round. And even with the injury timeout, that has absolutely breezed by the edge of them because everybody is at the edge of their seat right now. Right jabs from Petdam, and they will be a little bit short unless he gets right inside those long lines of Mahmoudi. You can see Petdam's trying to counter strike. He's trying to back up slowly, getting ready to load that left side as Mahmoudi lets go of the combination. Just prior to that, there was a spinning back kick that if it had landed, it might well have finished the contest. Nice straight left hand to the body there, landed by Pet Dam. Just looking up at these two athletes, the overriding feature is Mahmoudi's height. 
for a flyweight, he really does pack an awful lot into that frame. And he smiles at that guy. And they exchange brutal kicks. And left shots landed by Pet Dam as Mamoudi throws that right kick. Oh, nice right hand from Mamoudi. Counters very well and sends in combinations. Very solid right hand from Mamoudi. Mamoudi's doing a good job of checking that left kick. He's blocking a lot of these shots thrown by Pet Dam. As he, I like those combinations that he lets go. Pet Dam lands a nice jab there on the exchange. Pet Dam really is taking these big punches well. Seems to have a very solid chin. Ago. Look to unleash good left hand from Pet Dam and he threw a nice combination there. Scoring punches. 42 seconds left of this second round. That skip in. I think he throws the right kick and he throws that punch right after him. He's still off balance. He's got all his weight on one foot. Very oh. tricky striker is Mahmoudi. 30 seconds left in the second round. And a half minute. Oh, hitting. Beautifully executed by Pet Dam. They exchange kicks. There on the body. Rushing forward, throwing the right hand, and two more. It's interesting with Pet Dam, when he catches the push kick, you have to let go of the foot. You can't hold the foot and strike at the same time. You have to catch the foot, let it go, and then you can strike under kickboxing rules. So you have to be careful with that. So these two are making the judge's job extremely difficult because these have been two very close rounds. Perhaps Mahmoudi doing the slicker work of the two, but I agree with you, very close. Ten point on the system is what these judges will use to find their winner. Nice left hand landed by Pet down there. And this right from Mahmoudi, follows it up with another one. Pet down doesn't seem once to have been bothered by the heavy artillery, and that was another solid right from Mahmoudi. On the job. Yeah, Pitman's wearing these shots extremely well. He's got an ironclad chin. Oh, that left. Beautiful hook there. As he was stepping forward. Mahmoudi does not throw much that misses. His pinpoint accuracy, Steve. Look at that combination. Jumps into the skip knee, lands the right hand. I think Mahmoudi is complaining about another elbow. Certainly complaining about something. The referee has noted it. All of Pet Dam's work mirrored by the fans here at the Impact Arena. With cheers of joy and support. But at the moment, their man is.
this. Like the feints, like the feints coming from Pet Town as it's over the distance on the spin. Gonna connect though, but now he's starting to read what Mahmoudi's starting to do. Lunges forward and lands a short left hand. And Pet Town lands a super left. But Mahmoudi came back with three. We're calling the shots. The chip is beautiful though. He's able to time that left kick. You know that's coming. That's what, the referee's warning about. You know, that's what the referee's warning about. It's the way that Pet Dam's catching it, and then he's striking, so he's not letting go of the kick. You have to release the kick once you catch it if you want to strike. It's Mahmoudi who has the yellow card in An incident that happened in the opening seconds. And when the match is super close, beautiful hand combination thrown by Mahmoudi. Wonderful stuff from both of these men. Petdam is relentless. He will not back off despite the quality that is being aimed at his head. Man, Petdam is wearing his ball pill back fist. Oh, left and right from Petdam was solid. Mahmoudi's head was thrown back, lurched backwards. Good work from Mahmoudi to the chest. Right as he initiated the spin, that's when Pendam tried to go after the legs. Let's look at this, as he angles out, and he just turned his body right into the kick, and then he spun. Athlete is allowed up to three minutes, the duration of one round for medical examination and recovery. If an athlete is unable to resume in a lot of time, an official decision will be given. Now, since this is a championship match, 
once we reach the fourth round, that's when it goes to the judges' scorecards. If it's before the fourth round, it's a no contest, but in this situation, since it's championship rounds and we reach the fourth round, then if he, Elias Mahmoudi is not able to continue, it will go to the judges' scorecards. Well, i got to tell you at the moment, Mitch, I'm looking at Mahmoudi on the other side of the circle, and he doesn't look in good shape. Um, as you said quite correctly, it's three minutes, the duration of a round that he has to recover. In mixed martial arts, that would be five minutes. So he's got quite a bit less time to recover from this. Our editors are just providing torturous replays for us here. How many times do we have to see that very, very central blow? Head down, pacing up and down. Great. That being the case, Mitch, who wins it? Yeah, I do think we... It's about two minutes in. He's got about 55 seconds, so I think it's going to the judges' scorecards. Now, there are no draws inside one championship, so if it is two rounds apiece, then they go to their scoring criteria, and what we see is a little bit of superficial damage on the face of Pet Dam. So if it is 2-2, it could, then it would, that superficial damage from his punches kind of weighs in that favor. So, we've got 30 seconds left, I believe, in the injury time. I don't know if Elias Mahmoudi's gonna continue. How much time do we have left in the round? That's what I wanna know. Mahmoudi, he doesn't wanna let this go. I'm sure he, that warrior inside of him is begging him to get back up to his feet, but, Ben, ben you know what this feels like, Steve. Oh, this does I not do, feel yeah. good. Yeah, you know, your whole thing. world changes. I say, he still hasn't gone to his feet. He's still looking fairly disheveled. We have confirmation that they are going to go to the judges' scorecards. Ben Dam's encouragement on the crowd to try and get Mahmoudi to come back into this one has come to naught. Here's Dom. Wow, it's so close at this point. Our athlete is unable to continue due to an unintentional illegal strike. We will now turn to the judges' scorecards. All right, you heard what Dom said. The contest will not continue. Mahmoudi unable to recover in time. We have started the fifth round, and therefore the judges will make a decision no announcement has been made, but Petdam seems to think he's won it. I think it's that's a premature celebration. I think you're they, right. They're going through the announcement, so it's not the contest has not been like awarded to Petdam. So they're going to go to the judges' scorecards, and now an official decision will be given, as if time has expired, and we will crown a new. Flyweight kickboxing world champion. I think Pet Dam, there was probably something lost in translation. They probably thought that it was stopped and then he won as a result of the stoppage. But clearly the judges scores. Their scorecards need to be totted up. It's a 10 point must system. So it's effectively who won the most rounds. And as Mitch said, we could go into slightly more detail than that because it's quite likely that one or even all of these judges saw it to all. Now how will they score? the fifth round up to the point where the illegal blow happened is another matter. And that was pretty close. I do not envy what the judges have to achieve here. Out of your picture, meanwhile, Mahmoudi is being taken out of the circle on a stretcher. That is precautionary, I'm pretty sure. I don't believe there's any serious damage, although it certainly looks uncomfortable as he's taken past me. Certainly conscious as well, I can confirm that. So Pet Dam, the only athlete remaining in the cage, and Dom Lau is gonna tell us precisely how this one has unfolded. Ladies and gentlemen, and now for our official decision, we turn to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by a technical decision. And now, the one flyweight 
Kickboxing World Champion, Hector Pengenti.